Hello everyone, this is Normal Agent Tech, and today we are here with another Omel problem uh, from 2014, and today we are doing an individual problem, problem number 9. So this is actually the first Omel problem that I'm doing on my, on my channel. I'm going to be doing Omel problems for the next 3 weeks, probably, instead of um, Mammal problems. I might also do some Amy problems, because I think Amy and AMC problems which is a different math competition, which I've never talked about on this channel, but they're basically on like the same level, they're like national competitions. So I'm going to be doing national competition problems because Ormel is in a few weeks, it's like June 3rd. So in order to practice for Ormel, we're going to be doing practice problems on this channel. So yeah, um, we're doing problem number 9, which is Compute the greatest integer k is less than equal to 1000 such that 1000 choose k is a multiple of 7. One thousand k is a multiple of seven, and k is as big as possible. So, if we k is as big as possible, we're going to be working with very big numbers. So instead, I want to change this. I want to change this to this. So this is a very common identity in combinations. But basically, if you take k and you take one thousand and you subtract one thousand by k, you still have the same answer. One thousand choose k is one thousand choose minus one thousand choose one thousand minus k. So we have 1000 minus k is as small as possible. So if we say n equals 1000 minus k, then we have n is as small as possible. So instead of working with 1000 choose k, I'm just going to work with 1000 choose n. So n is as small as possible. So how do we do this? Well, we use our combination, you know, this formula, very common. And then I'm going to cancel out 1000 factorial and 1000 minus n factorial. So on the top we have 1000 times 999 times 998 all the way up to 1000 minus n plus 1. And anything after that, 1000 minus n, 1000 n minus 1, 1000 n minus n minus 2, that is all cancelled out by 1000 minus n factorial. And then on the bottom we have n factorial. Okay, so clearly this is equal. So we're going to be working with this, just because there's less numbers to deal with here. So we want this to be a multiple of 7, and the only way that can happen is if the numerator is a multiple of 7. So, if the numerator is a multiple of 7, and we want n to be as small as possible, then we want this term to be our multiple of 7. This has to be our first multiple of 7, in order for n to be as small as possible. So, what is, if 1000 minus, if, if 1000 minus, if n is as small as possible, then 1000 minus n is as big as possible. So, we want 1000 minus n plus 1 to be the biggest possible multiple of 7. So, it's under 1000. So, what is the biggest multiple of 7 under 1000? To find that out, we need to divide 1000 by 7. And you actually get uh, 30, 28... 14. So you get a remainder of 6, that means if we subtract 1000 by 6, that's a multiple of 7. So 994 is a multiple of 7. And actually, 994 equals 7 times 142. So here we know there's only one 7. Okay, so we're going to wait out 1000 to 7, because that's where we're going to get 994. 1,000 times 999 times 998 times 997 times 996 times 995 times 994 all over 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. So here we said that um this is 7 times 1 for 2. So these 7s actually cancel out. And now we're left with no 7. There's no multiple of 7 in the numerator. So clearly, we did something wrong. There's no multiple of 7 anymore. What did we do wrong? When we added one multiple of 7 to the numerator, we had to add one multiple of 7 to the denominator. And we got, you know, we got 7 factorial. So they, they cancelled out. So whenever we add one multiple of 7 to the numerator, we cancel out in the denominator. So what we need to do is that we need to add two multiples of 7 to the numerator, and then one multiple of 7 to the denominator. So what do I mean by two multiples of 7? 
When we think about it, that means 7 times 7, which is 49. So we need to add a multiple of 49 to the numerator, and then that'll cancel out with the multiple of 7 in the denominator, but it will be left with 1 7 in the numerator, and overall it will still be a multiple of 7. So, um, what is the biggest multiple of 49 under 1000? So if we sub um, divide 1000 by 49, we get 2... Ninety-eight. Oh, we get a remainder of twenty. So that means one thousand minus twenty is a multiple of seven. I mean, multiple of forty-nine. And if you think about it, it's just forty-nine times twenty. So yeah, it is a multiple of forty-nine. So we get one thousand times nine and nine times nine and eight, all the way up to times nine eighty. And then when is this going? When? It, how many numbers do we have here? Um, we actually have twenty-one numbers because if you think about it. If we said this is our last term, but in our formula up here, we said this was our last term. So we have 1000 minus n plus 1 equals 980. And if you solve that equation, you get n equals 21. So on the bottom here, we have 21 factorial. Okay, so how many how many 7s do we have in the numerator? In the numerator, we have 980, which is 2 7s because it's a multiple of 49. We also have plus 7, so if we add 7 to 980, we get another multiple of 7, which is 1, 7, because that's not a multiple of 49, it's only a multiple of 7. And we also have 994, which we already said only has 1, 7. And then in the numerator, we have 21, which is, has clearly 1, 7, 7 times 3, uh, 7 times 2, which is only 1, 7, and we also have 7, which is clearly just 1, 7. So in the numerator, we have 4, 7s. In the denominator, we have 3, 7s. So those 7s cancel out, so 3 7s here cancel out, and then 3 7s here cancel out, and we're left with 1 7 in the numerator. That is correct. That means we have a multiple of 7. So we have 1,000, choose 21, is a multiple of 7. And remember, we said n is as small as possible, so we also so we said n equals 1,000 minus k, so 21 equals 1,000 minus k. So, k equals 979, and that is our answer. So, 1,000 choose 979 is a multiple of 7, and that is the biggest possible k, where 1,000 choose k is a multiple of 7. So, that is our answer. And as you can see, it took quite a lot of thinking. I was trying to go fast, because you actually have 10 minutes for two problems on this po math problem, in this math competition, so problems 9 and 10 would probably be one set, and you would have 10 minutes to do both of those problems. So I was trying to go fast, trying to get you to thinking fastly, maybe. I don't know, I feel like in my math problems, I'm trying to be explanatory, because those five pointers are a hood. Like, I mean, this these problems are hood too. I mean, they're, they're actually harder. I mean, I think this problem, I, I thought about it a little. I haven't actually done it yet, but I think this problem is going to turn out to be hard. There's a lot of number theory problems here. There's a lot of, this is a base problem. I think this is a much harder base problem than you would see in mammal. So yeah, these are harder problems with less time. But in mammal problems, I'm trying, I'm just trying to get you to be able to do it. I think in the national level, on the mammal normal team, we have a lot of smart people. They can probably do this problem if they have enough time. I, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm only like 12th, I'm on the A team, so I'm probably like at the bottom of the A team, so maybe this isn't actually helping that many people. I hope it helps some people on the B team. Or, or maybe some of the alternates. I, there, there are probably a lot of people better than me on the Mammal Omal team than I am. I'm just trying to make videos so I can practice. So yeah, these videos are going to just be less explanatory than they usually are, because I'm trying to go fast. And I'm trying to solve them within 10 minutes. So yeah, that's it. I'll probably make another video or maybe another two videos today. And yeah. Um, have fun doing math.